Welcome back to Marketing for Your Future. I am your host, David Benfield. And on the show, we talk to digital marketing experts and kind of get some tips, some tricks of the trade to help you become a better marketer. And so joining me all the way from the city, New York City, I've got Edder Holkin, and he is with Higher Intelligence. Edder, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for taking the time and having me. It is our pleasure, I promise you. So, Edder, let's jump right into it. Talk to me about Higher Intelligence. Sure. Higher Intelligence was a platform that we built two years ago, and the concept was to bring a lot of different uh, marketing channels into one single dashboard. As you know, there's a lot of segmentation of digital marketing, so many things to cover from SEO to social media, content marketing, native, programmatic. So we figured it would be a great place to be able to incorporate all different channels on a performance basis into one single dashboard making it easier for brands to be able to track all their KPIs and have one single port of, of reporting, analytics, et cetera. That's incredibly useful, very pragmatic. So talk to me about your aha moment. What, uh, what, what was happening where you were like, we have to put this all in one place? Yeah, so I, I've been in digital for 23 years. I have built and sold three tech platforms. And I've been doing a lot of stuff from uh, content syndication to data acquisition to programmatic. Uh, my last company, OneCube, was in the business of building custom audiences that we will use for marketing programs by utilizing social listening techniques. And I realized the challenge was so hard for new brands to be able to manage all these different campaigns, logging into different dashboards, having different analytics, reading all these different data sets. So I figure... There must be an easier way, and there has to be a way that we can simplify this process by tying everything and putting it into one dashboard so brands can have one single place when they can see their campaigns uh, on a performance basis, either it's on a cost per lead gen basis, uh, any type of paid programmatic, paid social, as well as cost per sale types of campaigns for e-commerce. Wow. And so talk to us a little bit about how you farm clients and customers. So how do you how do you go about showing people that you've got such a such a great service? Uh, so the good news is I've been doing this for a very long time. So a lot of clients know me and follow me around. I have a pretty big digital presence which helps a lot. So I get a lot of inquiries of people coming to me, asking me, can I help them uh, kind of go in the process of, of building their marketing campaigns uh, but at the same token, you know, we, we connect through events. We go to a lot of the typical events, you know, Affiliate Summit, a lot of the LeedsCon, uh, some of the more traditional brand awareness digital conferences. Uh, obviously, we work somehow to build content that is engaging, uh, bringing people back to us. Uh, a lot of it is just managing incoming inquiries and being able to put proposals together for brands that make sense. Um, and some of it is just through networking, knowing people in the industry, having conversations with others and kind of looking where the holes are in their marketing programs and how we can help facilitate the process of acquiring new customers. I think COVID was a, a great, I think for everybody in marketing, COVID was a great way for people to realize that digital transformation was a must. It wasn't at that point something that people should think about it, but they had to do it at, at, at that point. Uh, the companies that had digital transformation in their DNA and were digitally built dealing, did incredibly well during COVID. The other ones, some of them did not even survive. So that facilitated the process of people, you know, looking at how to bring all their marketing programs online. It is interesting to the just how much COVID affected uh, how much we do digitally now, and there's no going back. And and the truth of the matter is, we probably should have been shooting towards that way anyway. But when you don't, when when there's no necessity, right? It takes a little bit longer to get that stuff instituted. So uh, we're marketing for your future. So let's predict the future a little bit. So uh, as just as a little wrap up, where do you see marketing going into? Like, what's the big shift that you think you'll see in the near future uh, for marketers? Yeah, so two things that I see happening a lot. One is we're moving into a live environment. Everything that is live, uh, obviously, I don't have to preach. We are on air live. Uh, so there's Facebook Live. Instagram is moving towards that. Periscope, like all these different platforms are moving to a very live environment. Twitch is such a huge platform. 
uh, that attracts so many different eyeballs. So marketers need to be tied into those live channels and be able to provide a customer experience that feels authentic. Uh, that's one of the things that I predict will continue to happen and all the different conversations should move toward that live environment or as close to live as possible. And then the second thing is uh, consumers, influencers, and people becoming brands. We see this more and more. You see all the big influencers, all the celebrities, they have their own brands. Uh, and I think marketing will continue to move into that influencer-driven uh, very, very content-driven marketing strategy. So a lot of that will continue to happen. Every single platform is facilitating the process for influencers to build large audiences. And there has to be a monetization strategy for those audiences. So I think the combination of authentic influencer marketing, content marketing, and live, um, it's, it's really the future of marketing as I see it. You're not, the, you're not the first person today to talk about uh, the power of the influencer moving forward. So, uh, Ina, I really appreciate you being on the show today, man. That was a fantastic conversation. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure. So if you'd like to learn more about higher intelligence, head to dailyadbrief.com. That's going to do it for us today on Marketing for Your Future. I'm your host, David Benfield, and we will see you next time.